Hey guys, this is Lee, and in this video, I'm going to share with you five things that you can do to your new used sunfish. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever owned a used sunfish? I bet you have. I've been asked hundreds and hundreds of times. I got a new sunfish. Now what do I do? Well, this video is exactly for you. Most of the time people get into sailing and they want a nice inexpensive boat and the sunfish is a perfect boat. So they look in the ads, they look on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and they find something for 200 bucks or 300 bucks and say, I'm going to go sailing. So they get the boat and they bring it to wherever they're going to go, either to the beach or to their club. So they put it together and a lot of people don't know what to do with it and that's okay. So over the years I've been approached by many new sunfish owners and most of their boats are older they're probably from the 70s or 80s and they want to go out sailing maybe they want to go racing maybe they want to go cruising around maybe they want to go with their kids so looking at some of these boats they might not be in the tick top shape but many old sunfish are really good boats sometimes they need a little tweaking and sometimes they're just great right out of the old garage so i'm going to share with you five things that could upgrade your sunfish and some of them are not even expensive at all. Number one, something that can improve your sailing experience are main sheet hangers. Main sheet hangers attached to the boom, which to the lower spar, which booms you in the head when you don't pay attention. And they hold the main sheet up and keep it from drooping. When the main sheet gets slack, it'll droop down. This is especially when you're doing a tack or a jibe. And when it gets slack, it always catches the back of your hat, the back of your clips on your PFD, which you should always be wearing when you sail a sunfish. And what this, ha what happens, it causes the sail to stop going across the boat, whether you're in a tack or a jibe, and then you're in the water because the boat flips over. So main sheet hangers are a must. They're inexpensive and they'll keep you from falling in the water and capsizing your boat. What do main sheet hangers consist of? They could be made of cloth, Velcro, string, plastic, tubing, hose, 3D printed material, duct tape, film canisters. What's a film canister? Some people will be asking. 35 millimeter thin film canisters I've seen. You should have at least one, two, Three is a little bit overkill, but one or two works fine. Put it right in the middle or kind of where the cockpit area is. And most of the time that'll keep you from getting hung up on the main sheet. There's also a new type of main sheet hanger made from Aero South, which is made of a 3D printed material. What I like about these main sheet hangers is that they can clip on and off the booms very easily. So if you have a couple of boats and you want to just exchange them, you can. I'll leave a link down below and you can check it out. I think sunfish should all have main sheet hangers. Main sheet hangers are so important, I'm going to give them a five out of five on the sunfish o meter scale of importance. Number two, dry out your boat. Make sure your boat doesn't really leak a lot. If it leaks a little bit after a couple hours of sail, it's not terrible. However, if you buy your sunfish, you get it home and it weighs 160, 170, 180 pounds, that's a lot of water. There are ways to lighten up your boat. So what I would suggest, I'll leave a couple of links below on how to actually install inspection ports. If you really want to accelerate the process, use PC fans, the ones that are on your old computers that keep the PC cool. Drain out the water or sponge it out. Put a fan, some people use two of them, and it circulates the air really quick. And after a few days, you can significantly dry out your boat. A gallon of water weighs eight pounds, and you have six or seven gallons in there. You probably have like at least 90 pounds of water. So yeah, get that water out of your boat. A dry, lighter boat is a lot easier to sail. It just feels better on the water. It floats better. When you get back to the beach, you get more water. 
then you're gonna have people not willing to help you and they're gonna run away as fast as they can if they know your boat's weighing 180 to 200 pounds. Did you ever have a leaking boat? Let me know in the comments below how you dried it out. So drying out your boat on the Sunfisher meter scale of importance, I would say it's a 4.8. So the third thing I wanna talk about for a new used boat owner is this. This is like a bicycle quick release, but for a sunfish, this is a gooseneck adjuster. Most of the time, if you have a sunfish, you can go ahead, set it, forget it, have fun. It doesn't really matter. But if you want a little bit more performance, a little bit better handling in different types of wind, a gooseneck adjuster is a great investment. This costs about 20 to $25. What it does, it allows you to adjust your sail in relation to the mast. Depending on where you set it, it could make your boat more balanced. And sailing is all about balancing your boat. You don't want to be fighting your tiller. You don't want to be hiking too hard if it's still healing over. You want to have fun out there. You want to be smashing that like button. And in most people's conditions, it's not a big deal. But this really makes a difference. If you want to sail in heavier air and you're fighting the boat and you can't hold it down, this is where it helps. Now, for people who race, this is a must. If you want to race, you have to have this. Most of the time, a gooseneck is fixed with a screw and it's fixed on the boom. It's just set it and forget it and go sailing and have fun. Having the gooseneck adjuster is like having a 10 speed or a 12 speed bike versus a one speed bike. You will be able to sail in a lot varied conditions and you could adjust it whenever you want to. So I would grade the adjustable gooseneck on the Sunfisher meter scale of importance at about a 4.5. If you're a racer, five. Let me know in the description down below if you use a gooseneck adjuster. And if you haven't already, please adjust that like button until it turns blue. The fourth thing you could add to a used sunfish is this little thing right here. This is called a universal tiller joint. And this holds a tiller extension. This is a tiller. And the tiller steers the boat with the rudder that's supposedly here. Most stock and old sunfish come with a fixed tiller that goes only back and forth, left and right, port starboard. And it can go forward to the cockpit. However, the universal goes up and down and at an angle. So what this does, it makes it a lot easier for you to sail. I could sail right here, I could put my hand here, put my hand here, I could put my hand on my lap, I could put my hand back of me. And it's not absolutely needed, but it really does make sailing a sunfish a lot more fun because if you're if you don't have a tiller extension you have to hold your tiller from here if you have a fixed one it's only this long usually and you can only hold it so far away so when you have a fixed tiller you can only really hold it sitting back into the cockpit sitting in the back of the boat is not ideal it doesn't make the boat handle as well i mean if you're just tooling around in light air okay you're not going to notice a difference however if you really want to get more performance you should be able to slide up to the cockpit back in the cockpit and the universal tiller with the ex extension and the joint will help you sail anywhere you want on this boat you could sit next to the daggerboard if you wanted to you could sit all the way back and another really big thing, when the wind picks up, this helps you lean out, which is called hiking, lets you use your weight a lot easier to balance the boat. So if you're interested in getting a tiller extension with the universal joint, leave a comment down below. I'll also leave a link down in the description to tell you where you can get one. And if you haven't already, Please extend that joint and press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel also. It helps it out a lot. So the tiller extension and the universal joint score on the Sunfisher meter scale of importance is only a four. You don't really need one to sail and have fun. However, 
it gives you a lot more flexibility. But if you are used to having a universal joint with a tiller extension, it's hard to go back to a fixed tiller. The fifth thing I think you should be able to upgrade your Sunfish is not that expensive. I'm speaking of a thin piece of bungee about 10 to 12 feet long. This you can use to retain your dagger board. When you flip over, you don't want that dagger board to go swimming away away from your boat. You want that with your boat when you flip over. And it's not a matter of if you're gonna flip over, everyone flips over in a sunfish, especially when you're new. Oh God, did he go? Vito's off. Stay, hang on Vito. You're using the dagger board as a way to get the boat up. If you don't have the dagger board, it is virtually impossible to get the boat back up and it's very difficult to sail. Another reason why you would want to use a bungee cord for your centerboard retaining line is that it's elastic and it'll help hold the board up if you want to go reaching or running downwind and you want to pull your board up to create less drag. Now I have two bonus things that I wanted to share with you that are not in my top five. However, one is free. On the Sunfish Amita scale, it's a 5.5 and that is a trucker's hitch or a slip knot. If you do that in a halyard and you rig it correctly, like here, it will hold up your sail. It's not gonna fall down and flop around on you when the, when the wind gets a little bit moderate. So the slip knot or a trucker's hitch is a must know. That is one of my seven knots you should know in a sunfish. Let me know in the comments below if you use a trucker's hitch or a slip knot. Now the second bonus item that I'm going to share with you in this video is a more expensive item, but it is so worth it if you could afford one. Also, it'll save your health, it'll save your back, and people will not run away from you if you have a 180 pound boat. They generally will try to help you if you have this thing. It's a Cytec or a Dynamic Dolly. These dollies are perfectly balanced for a sunfish. They have been used for decades and are very, very durable. Balanced so it doesn't hurt your back. And if you hurt your back when you're trying to pull up a 190 pound boat, you could just kiss your sailing season goodbye. If you're at all concerned with trying to get your boat off the beach and out of the water, a Cytec or a Dynamic Dolly is a great item to have. It can save your back, it can save your friend's back, and people won't run away from you because you're not gonna be asking them to pick up a 400 pound sunfish. Now a SciTech Dynamic Dolly is an expensive item compared to a used sunfish, but it's much better than one of those centerboard dollies that you have to slide in your centerboard. However, those work okay too, but to get the centerboard dolly into the centerboard slot, it's hard to do it because you have to lift the boat up, put it on its side, or have someone help you anyway. A SciTech or a dynamic dolly, you could usually handle alone, unless you're on a really sandy beach like Lewis Yacht Club. It's like pulling a sunfish through quicksand. So on the sunfish meter scale of importance, I would put a SciTech or a dynamic dolly way up there as a five. So there you have it. Five things that new used sunfish owners can upgrade their sunfish with and two other bonus things that can help you out. What would you suggest that someone get when they first get their used sunfish? Leave a comment down below. If you got any value from this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell so you know when I come out with a new video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the way.